Greetings, Dan Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of FlowBlade. This is FlowBlade 1.6 on Ubuntu 16. Uh, FlowBlade is very fast. You can see that the video playback window is uh, refreshing quite quickly when I drag the mouse across. Uh, I also have controller here, which is also very good. Uh, using the mouse, I can advance forward uh, and to I'm going to, this demonstration will include a quick demonstration of how to use the blend. So I'm going to cut a video piece here. I use the, the razor. And under uh, the razor apparently only works on uh, the razor works fairly effectively. You can also use X to do the same thing. I'm going to use the overwrite option, number two. The hotkeys are very handy. Use the overwrite, and then I'm going to drag that over to the top just like that. And now you see that the, um, the overwrite has effectively put one part of the video on top of the other. We'll play or we'll show you what that looks like. You can see right there. There's no difference. It's hard to see. If you're not really familiar with the movie, you're not going to know there's a difference. Uh, so let's add a blend. Click on the object and right click. And you've got add blend, which is kind of confusing because if you go to compositor, you also have more blends. That's fine. We'll go ahead and use the blend. And you'll see here that there's an opacity. Um, and you've got all kinds of <clears throat> blend modes. And we're just where destination track is V1. And the blend mode, I'm just going to use normal. And now I want to add, I want to reduce the um, I want to reduce the opacity because if the opacity is um, at 100%, then the blend effectively doesn't work. You can see we've got some sort of uh, artifact here, or maybe that's intentional to show you what the blend will look like. Uh, let's zoom in. I just roll my mouse key a little bit. No hot, no other key. Just, just roll the mouse. I'm not using any keyboard. Now I'm going to adjust the cursor a little bit to see what our blend looks like, and it looks okay. Um, you're seeing, uh, you're seeing as well as I am. There's some sort of artifact in there that may or may not be part of the blend. So let's go ahead and play that. Okay, so we are getting a bit of a of an of an undesirable um, layer on the top. That's not exactly what we want. So let's try deleting that and move this over a little bit. And we'll try a different compositor. Rather, we'll use a different blend. Add blend. I'm going to use the uh, use the dissolve. Let's try dissolve. Again, that's an opacity issue. And opacity looks much better. So let's go with that. Or rather, uh, dissolve looks much better. So there's the dissolve. And it seems to work pretty well. We'll slide that over a little bit. And zoom in just a bit. So we've got maybe... Uh, 10 seconds of dissolve here, 203, 2 minutes 3 seconds to 2 minutes 12 seconds. That's probably too much, but you get the idea. So there's no dissolve, and then here's the dissolve picked up, and you can see the dissolve works pretty well. It got quite a bit of overlap in there because the screen or the shot is similar. But it works, and that's how you add a dissolve to Flowblade. So thanks for watching, and happy computing.